There's an audible absence this week among the practice whistles and popping pads. <laughs> Sometimes I'm on the sideline louder than I was. Sometimes I would have to tell them Mr. Canada get off the sideline. Mr. Canada is Broderick Canada, the school's assistant principal who passed away suddenly last week. He was just like one of our brothers out here. He came out here every day, watched our practice, came to every game, watched the practice, cheered us on, had tiger prints on his face, all of it. He just Good fan. He always encouraged me to go on and do big things, so I, I, I feel very comfortable dedicating this season to him. I think we can pull it off for him. This afternoon, some of the team attended a funeral. Tonight, they play a game, and this time, winning isn't the only thing. And they, their desire to, to do well because of that. They, they want to they wanna honor him. They really do. They want to honor him, and he deserves it. He, he does. He deserves it. Football is their way to pay tribute and heal. Canada is the third member of the Bessemer community to lose his life in the last two weeks. Emotions are a different type of adversity. There's no shortcut to coping with loss, but football is a welcome part of their process. Football, it's, it's a calm state because we get away from everybody, get away from all the distractions, all the doubters and everything, because we know out here, we all believe in each other. We, we each other brother. We always gonna have each other back. So I guess you could say it's a release factor. You know, the guys just kind of turn that, that, that negative energy to positive energy to, to play in the football game. And I, you know, I hope that he's, he's with us and he's that extra strength we need for this week and, and for the next five weeks after that to maybe win a state championship here for best of Reminders of Mr. Canada's impact in life are everywhere. Now, this team would like to add a permanent piece to the trophy case. Ambassador City, Stu McCann for Blitz Game Day.